is a special video that's going to go out to a certain group of people and I'm directing it towards you like the group that Kevin Gill called out the other day, the internet fans. And not, not just wrestling fans, the ones that talk shit online, but they never buy a ticket to a show, or they never buy a pay-per-view, or they never buy a DVD. All they do is bash all the guys who are out there busting their ass and working hard. Or this is also towards the wrestlers who get their feelings hurt because they keep fucking up and then when they get called out on their bullshit and somebody doesn't kiss their ass, they get so upset about it that they want to go cry to someone a la Just Incredible this weekend when I said, hey, you're a drug addict, you know, and I called him out on Twitter for it and then he got his feelings hurt and he wanted to go cry about it and call me a nobody. Yeah, I'm a nobody because I've never had a contract with WWE, yet I've had the biggest feud in wrestling this year with Matt Hardy. I've been wrestling for 14 years and I've wrestled with WWE, TNA, ECW, or WWE, ECW, and every major indie ring of honor there is. So, so, so I'm a nobody just because I never signed a WWE contract. Yeah, just incredible. You were in WWE, TNA, ECW, blah, 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 but you know what? So is fucking Outback Jack and Manitar. What does that make you? That doesn't make you a drug, that, does, that still doesn't make you a, a good person. You're still a drug addict. I could get jumbled in my words a little bit because I get so fucking aggravated and hearing these guys kiss guys' ass just because you were once on TV. Who gives a shit? That doesn't make you a good person, okay? You know what makes you a good person? Doing the shit that you're supposed to do. Like Chris Rock said, people bragging about taking care of your kids. You're supposed to take care of your kids. You're not supposed to do drugs. So yeah, I'm going to call you out for being a piece of shit and getting passed out in the locker room when you had a booking and you were responsible for performing in front of a crowd who pays, t- pays good money and buys tickets to see you wrestle. So yeah, you fucked that up. Not me. Don't get mad at me because I called you out and I don't kiss ass to, to make you feel better. You know what? I never spent my money on drugs. My mother was a drug addict. My family, so many members of my family were drug addicts. But I chose not to go that route because I wanted to have a future. I chose to invest my money in things like Wildcat Sports and come here and train. Look at this. This is what happens when you do what you're supposed to do. And take a look around. Film it. Film it. This is Wildcat Sports. Take your time. This is guys who want to be here, who want to work hard, who want to bust our ass so maybe they can have a future in wrestling one day. You know what? And they're going to do what it takes to get there. These guys know that going out and smoking dope with their friends, taking pills of smoking crack, ain't going to fucking help them get nowhere. All right? So next time you want to get online and you want to talk shit about somebody, you better pick your words real wisely. Because motherfuckers, if you got a problem with me, wrestlers, fans, anything, I ain't hard to find. You come find me, and this, this ain't a fucking wrestling promo. If you have a problem with me, you come say it to my face. I'm not an internet troller. I don't hide behind some fake account. If I got a problem with somebody, I'll tell you I got a problem with you. That's what's wrong with this business today. Too many shitbags want to take advantage of guys who work hard and they want to hold up promoters for paydays, not show up on time, or pass out in the goddamn locker room when people are paying to see you. Get your shit together and then be a man. Then when somebody says something about you and say, what you talking shit for? Because I got my shit together. Talking shit is when somebody lies about you, when somebody says something that's not true about you. Getting called out for your bullshit is a whole different story. That's called telling it like it is.